Well, hello, friends. It is uh, TechSax Rewind. We call it the Rewind, and these guys here are the fan show guys. And let, let, me, let me just ask a question. Are we a positive show or are we a negative show? I don't know. I don't know. You, you I get think half we're mostly positive. Maybe I'm bringing the group down. Maybe my Dylan, negative. You're the one bringing stuff. it down. Yeah, yeah you're, maybe, you're I'm, net negative. I'm always looking for something positive, even out of a bad situation. You, you have know, to. He's Paul positive. Right so there. okay, let me, just because I know how positive you are, you text the show. You're on the show often. After App State, how positive were you? I was. We still should have won the game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you, that's what you guys say. I mean. Yeah. What can you say, uh, look, I'll say this. I and I've said this a couple times this week, so I apologize for repeating myself. I was so wrong about App State. I looked at that schedule I'm like this team that beat A and M, they're gonna go ten and two, and I'm gonna feel really good about myself. That team sucks. Yeah, they're bad. They're and, really bad. They're not good. And A and M's getting better. Yeah, I'd love to play yeah. them again right now. Again, better. They'd beat them for sure. They play Miami again. They win, but they win by more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they I still lose so. Mississippi State and Bama. I don't even know how to. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> During the show, we had uh, our QB one, Stephen McGee. We like Stephen McGee, right? We got yeah. McGee's the best. Yeah, they, we like him. We like awesome. Ryan Swope too, right? Yeah, yes, he's, he's all right. Oh, I was expecting a little more positive. <laughs> he's all right, yeah. Uh, Billy Lucci, we like him. Oh yeah, he's all right. He's you guys cool. are best friends with Billy, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. met him a best thousand friends. times. And then these guys, the fan show guys, bi week edition is Tex Ags Rewind. If if I'm coaching. I, you know, that guy, I would tell him to play the exact same way. I mean, I, I would play very much hands-on. I know that when you go back and you look at the clips, it looks like it's a flag, and it very much could have been. But I think at that time of the game, if I'm Alabama, I would have been really upset if they had thrown a flag. Like, at the end of the game, I want them to, I want them to let them play. I don't want penalties to decide the outcome of a game. And I know, like, that's dicey. I, in fact, I was surprised on the earlier penalty right, that, they, that they threw it. So... Now, on the flip side, we should add three more seconds. But yes. if the ball's thrown better, is there maybe a flag then? Yeah, I think if the ball, the ball is thrown more accurately and sooner, then, and, and you can clearly see that it impedes his ability to, to make that play. Uh, but I thought it was probably a pretty good no call. Don't you have plays, though? That, to, to me, that looked like, and, and I'm, I'm saying it's to me, so I don't know. That looked like, hey, we're going to go out and run a play that we would always run. In fact, Jimbo said they ran the play earlier they for did. a touchdown. Okay, yeah. the same play, it just the the, 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 uh, the the read was different. Yeah. Okay, but didn't y'all ever have like a play? Hey, if we get into a uh, where we need to go for two, this is the play we're saving for that. Absolutely. And he re- really put it on display with the the the, the nation watching. The nation watching. Yeah, I mean, look, this kid is, is special, and I was really anxious to see how he's going to respond, uh, you know, after having a, a couple tough drops and a, a, just not a great week for him the week before. Um, good football players learn how to accept that and take that and, and go back and get better, and he, he did that, and he did that against the number one team in the country. So, and he's a freshman. So there, there's a lot of good – good things uh and the future looks bright for for uh for number one i mean he made big time plays and big time moments and i think he's really finding his identity yeah no, no doubt as well as number seven i i think muhammad is is a as well he's finding his identity in this offense i think he's a guy we can lean on um he's dependable he's got good hands he's a great route runner so those two guys, I'm excited, and their futures look bright, and I think that it's a matter of how can we get them the football, and so uh, how can we protect our quarterback to get these, get these, you know, these stars the football in space to let them do their thing. Um, that's that's what we've got to do. But uh, you know, all in all, I think offensively we, there's there's a lot of improvement. Um, and so moving forward, I, I think that we just got to protect our quarterback and just stay healthy. Ryan, I think the, you know, the Moose story is an interesting one because a guy that we've always known had some skills, right? But getting that opportunity and now kind of putting it on showcase because if Anias gets hurt, I don't know how much we see. Not that I – this team is much better with Anias, uh, no doubt about that. But uh, getting the opportunity to really show that, hey, I'm a dynamic player as well. Yeah, no, no doubt. Uh, he, 
I mean, he fills that role so well, and it's crazy that he's just now showing up because um, he looks like he's been playing for, you know, three or four years. And so <clears throat> I think uh, I think he's going to be our, you know, our go-to guy, third and short, um, you know, uh, third and medium that we can lean on. He's dependable. He's got good hands. You know, he's great at the top of, top of the route. And so he uh, – a lot to be excited about there. Obviously, uh, we, we miss a nice. We can all feel that. Uh, we, we miss his presence on the field, his leadership. and uh, But, you know, number seven is doing a great job of, of kind of filling in that role um, and, and, you know, taking it and running with it. If, hel- if Haynes is 100% healthy, still working in Connor at some point in that game, or is it wait and see to see how well the offense kind of goes? No, I'd absolutely want to see that. And I've been saying that literally since that state. Because I said, if you're three and three or worse, you know, at that time, after that game, it was like Miami's far from a guarantee. And and three and three or two and four would look like it was heck. Some people were saying this team could be one and five. So I was saying if they got to three and three or worse, I, I wanted to see Haynes King, I mean, uh, Connor Wigman get some kind of look, you know. I wanted to see him get get enough of a look that we could see what he can do. In South Carolina, after a bye week, seemed like kind of the perfect time for that. You know, it really did. Um, and it still does. I know, look, that's going to be a very tough game. I really hope Haynes is back and healthy. It, it's certainly starting to you know, with him already coming back to practice, I think. And and, and the reality is, is there wasn't, I don't think, a whole lot of uh, concern that he wasn't going to play. You know, I don't think that was so much the issue. I think it was more about, hang on, Nunez, trying to get a salamander out of the house, open the garage, and he ran in. This is what happens when you do radio at home. But uh, I really want to, you know, I, I just, it's going to be a tough environment for a first-timer, for a true, you know, true freshman. I don't care how many stars are by your name. But, you know, it, it's a college defense. I get it. You know, schemes and stuff that you will not have seen, blitzes, coverages, disguising things, all that stuff. But it's not Alabama. It's not a better than Mississippi State defense. It is going to be on the road in a very, very tough environment. But I think you have an opportunity there with Hayden to say, okay, let's, you know, let's go. Uh, Wigman's going to play third drive of the game. And he's going to play third drive of the second half. And if you're struggling as the game goes along and you've already kind of broken that seal and put him in or he looks good on that drive, then you can ride with him. And you can ride with him there. Not his start. It's not one of those deals where you go, you know, if you did happen to not win it, you don't want to have kind of the future your your franchise go out there and lose his first start to a team a and never lost to. That's deflating, um, particularly if he struggles. I think mean, you do have to be careful to understand your O-line and kind of protect him, but I think you play him with a plan to play him. You stick to that plan. Everybody understands the plan. And if it turns out where he's playing better, you can just ride with it, see where it goes. And then you, even if it's not that, and even if it changed plays well, you get Wigman a couple of series on the road in the SEC, and you go from there. And then for next week, you know, in a couple of weeks, you play Ole Miss. If you go three and out, three and out, and then Wigman comes in, leads you to a touchdown, at home, then maybe that's when you ride with it. And then you go, okay, well, we can start him at home. His first career start next week against, against Florida. Comfort of home. He's played now against an SEC. You know, he's been in a couple of SEC games. Led us to a win last week or had a you know valiant effort and a loss to top 10 old men. Well, however it goes, you set it up now um, if he performs well. But that's an if, it, and even as talented as Connor is, and I think I've said a million times, I think he's a future 
of the program at the position, and I think he's a future star. I'm absolutely convinced of that. I know they're th- one game off of where they currently are. Would you have been shocked in July that they're four and two? I mean, probably not shocked. I mean, I I, I would have thought thought all right, we were gonna lose, we we're gonna drop the game up maybe to Bama and then to one of either Arkansas or Mississippi State. I would have thought that. So I wouldn't. Do, I don't know if I'd be shocked. I feel I'd be disappointed. Uh, uh, you know, you know, every year we we go into it going, hey, that October eighth game, all see. Oh, look, you're looking at two teams going in probably undefeated. It's going to be a huge matchup, and then it ends up being uh, four and two, palatable maybe, right? If you looked better doing it, um, but still disappointed. And but, but I wouldn't have been shocked because I I had my eyes wide open, right? I'd looked at that schedule. I knew Arkansas was going to be better. Uh, we thought Miami was going to be better. Uh, Mississippi State State was good already, right? Bama. I think the rest of their schedule is hard. South Carolina's improving. Ole Miss is good. Florida's a dangerous team, right? But you LSU. Know, that I, I, our schedule was really hard. Say, say we run the table and we go nine and three. In the end, a And M still not gonna get no credit. They'll, they'll say, well, they don't deserve credit after the. Way uh, they'll say, they'll say, oh, Florida team's no good. LSU team's no good. Uh, Auburn team's no good. You know, Mississippi was overrated because they hadn't played nobody. So it's, it's like, like you say, damn if you do and damn if you don't. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if we lose those games, oh, we're we're, we're sorry. If you go <laughs> nine and three after this dog, you know what start? That would be a huge accomplishment. Uh, no, I, and it, I hope they get some credit because it, they would deserve. And it. And I think they. I mean, you're looking at going into next year. They're going okay. Wait, this is that A and M team won won their last six games. You know, they were they were and, and then get into a bowl, win the bowl game. You know, they won their last seven games in a row. Um, after a slow start, but do they change their offense if they're nine and three? I see. That's. I think. Nah. I if it's know, if you're man. still crappy on the stats part of it, should be some change. But what would the storyline be if that's the case? This this team improves and gets to nine and three, or maybe with the bowl win nine game. Man, they played all these freshmen got experience. They're coming back yeah. and they're better. They're they're legit I, five I, stars. These are yeah. SEC players. All right, Randy. What are we supposed to do here? Supposed to share. Like and subscribe. You ever hear when OB does his like mascots? Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody here can do a mascot sound? Mm, uh, Not me. No, no. No. Not like OB. I don't know if I want to try. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, I would highly recommend OB. against it, but the <laughs> ratings might go up. So OB's a mascot king. Yeah, he is. He's the mascot. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. It's Tex Rewind.